So we talked about communication principles, we talked about typical structures. Now it's time to talk about consulting slides. And I want to talk about the theory first. And after that, we will take a look at some practical examples. So if we talk about the theory, it's important to understand that there are several very, very typical elements of each slide in management consulting. And especially if you start um, or if you are new in consulting, it's important to keep those elements in mind. Okay. And never send out a slide without checking those elements if they are included and if they have a high quality. So let's go through it step by step. So what you typically have at the top is a chapter tracker. Okay. And this is in my slide that you see now here, it's understand consulting slides uh, here in a slide gray. You could typically include it also on the top of the slide. Um, and this is just a chapter tracker. It's typically exactly the same wording that you have in the agenda. And this helps the audience that if they just want to understand, maybe they left the meeting for a couple of minutes and uh, they come back and they want to know where we are. And this chapter tracker really helps them to with one uh, um, eye blink that they quickly understand where we are in the presentation. Okay. So include a chapter tracker. This is, as I said, typically just the agenda point. And this will help to give the audience a very good orientation where we are. Then what you then have is the action title. And the action title, as we said, is one sentence that really summarizes the key message of your presentation eh, of your slide in one sentence. And what you should do and what you should learn is to really try to make it short include the main message. And this also forces you to think about, okay, what is the key message of the slide? Because this is also something that I did myself, you know, wrongly a, a lot of times was that I built a presentation without even knowing what the key message was. So I would highly recommend to work on the key message to also, if you build a slide, think about the key message first. And this is what you have to include in the action title. So it's one sentence that really understand, it helps to understand the audience, what the key message of your presentation is. Then the, uh, the third part would be the content section. And this is actually the body of your slide. This is where you have all the detailed information. We will talk about um, how you can structure, uh, structure that in a second. But this is typically, you know, where most of the work of a slide and um, building process um, takes place. So this is where you include all the details, all the graphs, all the information. So it's the content section, it's the body of your presentation. And if you go to the right, what you also see very often is that you have certain qualifiers. What are qualifiers? Qualifiers are like stickers that you put on your slide deck. And the most common ones are probably something like a preliminary, illustrative, to be discussed, or work in progress. And this helps to um, uh, this helps the audience that they understand or that they can put the slide into a context. Because very often, if you send out a slide deck and if you don't have qualifiers, then sometimes it's maybe not the final version of the slide. Okay, because this has still to be aligned with a key stakeholder, or maybe you know this is just a work in progress because some important information is missing. And as a consultant, you don't want to be in a situation where you send out a slide that is not defined in the slide yet and where people afterwards ask you or, you know, refer to the slide and refer to some missing information or to some content that is not aligned with the most important stakeholders. And that is why in consulting, we very often include those qualifiers if there are some comments to make. As we said, for example, you include a sticker or a qualifier called pre uh, preliminary. If this is a version that still has to be discussed with some people or where you expect some iteration to happen. Sometimes you also include uh, illustrative. Um, illustrative means that the graph that you show may be some indication. We talk about um, profitability decrease. If you don't have the profitability, the exact numbers yet, then maybe you could just show a decreasing um, graph and just include a sticker or a qualifier called 
illustrative and this shows that you know those are not the final numbers yet but this should you know just illustrate your point to be discussed is also a sticker that you typically use especially if you say okay this has to be aligned with a key stakeholder or work in progress is this uh, if this is simply not the final version of your slide yet then you can include this qualifier as well you don't have that on every slide of course and only for the slides that um, um, that have to be commented to put it into context uh, but this is typically what you see as well in management consulting slides then very important, don't forget about that. Those are the footnotes. In the footnotes, you can uh, include the sources, you can include some references, you can include some um, detailed information. Very often, for example, if you calculate a business case, you include in the footnotes important assumptions or important comments. Um, this is also very important and always make sure that all the important information is in the footnotes because very often this is something that you forget because most of the time you spend with the content of your slide or the action title and then you forget to check the footnotes and um, so I highly recommend to double check them if this is um, how you want them to be. And at the end of course we have the slide number and this is very automated in PowerPoint so um, typically you should not have any issues with that. Nevertheless, I want to um, uh, emphasize that you should double check because especially if you collaborate on a slide deck, if you copy maybe slides from one deck to the other, and if the master, the slide master is not aligned, then very often PowerPoint does not display those foot numbers, uh, uh, those uh, slide numbers. So just flip through the slides, check if the slide numbers are aligned, and this will make, uh, help you to make your slides more consistent. So those are the th uh, six important elements of consulting slides. And um, this is the theory we will talk later about, or we, um, I will show you later some practical examples so that you get a better understanding. But keep in mind, those are the six core elements of each consulting slide and always double check them and uh, see if they are as you like them to be.